Well, the Billings community is beginning to learn more about the economic toll COVID-19 has had on the local economy. Steve Arviscow with Big Sky Economic Development stopped by the Billings City Council last night to give an update on what his team has learned in the past few weeks. Q2's Mitch Leggy joins us now with the numbers. Mitch. Well, Janelle, local leaders are starting to learn more about how COVID-19 has affected the local economy, and they're starting to craft new ways for businesses to reopen once it's deemed safe to do so. While Arviscow has some rough numbers on the economic toll, he said that he wouldn't necessarily hang his hat on them because officials are learning more and more every day. Based on economic injury reports from 240 Yellowstone County businesses, 1,450 jobs were immediately lost three weeks ago and business owners were unsure three weeks ago if 1,060 jobs would be lost. Arbiscow's rough math found with the immediately lost jobs, Yellowstone County could stand to lose an estimated $350 million in economic activity. In the meantime, there is a team made up of representatives from the business community crafting a website with recovery information for business owners. We have information and resources on our website at Big Sky Economic Development, so does the Chamber, so does downtown. The city has some information. We wanted to create a site where all of you, all of us could say, your first click, go to this site. It will unfold for you all the information that's important to you as a business uh, in Yellowstone County. Arbuscow said that the Yellowstone County economy could be in recovery mode for weeks, months, or even years. He said that there's just not enough information to give a strong date at this point. Janelle? All right, thanks so much, Mitch. Now, Mitch says that website with information should be available to take a look at some point this Friday.